What's going on guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. We're going to finish up that Battle Belt series. Today we're going to be taking a look at that Coyote Tactical Stomp Pouch that I have been waiting to get done. So let's get the uh, camera changed over here in just a minute so we can do a tabletop on this. Just want to show you this real quick. Uh, when this thing is attached to the belt, all you have to do is reach behind you find the buckle it'll actually release and then you can just grab a hold of there's actually a strap right here you can just grab a hold of that and peel the whole pouch off so that's what we're going to be reviewing is just the pouch not too worried about the uh the base that's attached to the belt so let me get the camera adjusted we'll take a look what i have inside my uh my med kit all right guys be right back all right guys so we got to switch over to the tabletop here taking a look at the Coyote Tactical Solutions Stomp Pouch. Uh, picked this up from Odin Medical, and the stomp in the stomp pouch stands for Slim Tear-Off Med Pouch. Mine is not that slim. <laughs> uh, I have this thing stuffed. Honestly, it, it, it holds a lot. And we're gonna take a look at it here. So I did put it back in its belt attachment, so you guys can see it here. Um, it's connected to the belt with malice clips. You also have some molly webbing going both directions here. A couple different options. You can connect this to your belt setup. On the top here, you have a little uh, two by two Velcro pouch or patch. Uh, and then I have the Odin Medical morale patch on it there. Uh, like I said, all you do, you reach around from the back, find, or from the front to the back, find your snap, and this will open up, and then you just tear this right off. I'm going to leave the backing on so it doesn't get stuck to the uh, table here. But as you can see on the bottom here, I do have a, an extra tourniquet. This is uh, this is a Cat 7. So this is a Cat 7 tourniquet on the bottom. So it's just got two, two elastic straps that allow you to add in that uh, extra piece of gear, whether it's chem lights or in my case, an extra tourniquet. So I have the Recon Medical one and then a, a genuine Cat 7. Honestly, I like the Recon Medical better just for the fact that it has a metal um, tensioner. The, the, cat, the genuine Cat 7 has a plastic tensioner and I, I don't really care for that. But uh, what you're looking at here is seven inches wide, four inches tall, two inches thick, and it has the integrated belt loops, uh, four pals wide base, which is this back here. So you're gonna have your four pals wide base. It's made out of 500D denier. Uh, it comes with the malice clips. They do come along with the kit. Uh, let's see. The underhang retention straps and color wise you can get it in black coyote ranger green and then the multi-cam which is what i got it in retail is 59.99 and it's made in the usa so another good option there or another good uh good feature and then it opens up 180 degrees so that's the last part i'm gonna slide it under the tourniquet here to get it to open up all the way when you open it up you have your and i'm sticking to the table oh tourniquet <laughs> all right so when you open it up all the way gives you two sides to fill um, it does come with these elastic straps now what it does it comes with one long elastic band and a couple of these uh kind of stoppers here that you can pull out just to hold the gear down. And we're gonna go through what I have in here. That way you can actually see how to hook these up once I open or once I empty a side out here. So let me get these loosened up. Um, obviously I just have an extra pair of gloves just thrown in the middle where it folds, it's not gonna it's not gonna bother them. Some North American Rescue Bear Claws. And let's take a look. We'll we'll start over here. So on the one elastic strap, I have just some safety pins connected. 
loosen these up. And first thing we have is some mini compressed gauze, and that is from H&H &H Medical. So just your basic compressed gauze. And I got a tape, got the uh, casing taped up so that way it's a little more compact. Uh, under that we have some flat compressed gauze from H&H &H as well. So this is just Z-fold flat bandage. The compressed gauze will take place of a, an Israel bandage, so kind of a reason it's in there. Uh, next up we got some alcohol prep pads, nothing fancy there. And then we have some Alu-Quick, small little patch of quick clot gauze. And we have a couple random dressings here. What we got? We got a combined ABD, a Dawn woven sponge, and then a 10 by 20 trauma pad stuffed in there. Put those off the side. Um, so as you can see, this is what the, the base looks like. You have kind of like your laser cut molly. Obviously it's not the same size, but you can run things through there. And then you have these little holes the whole way around. So you can design this however way you want. There's holes on all four sides for these elastic straps to go through. And then behind there, you actually get some more storage. Let me see what I got back here. Anything else? Nope. So back here, I just have two padded aluminum finger splints from Ever Ready First Aid. So just a, a basic finger splint, kind of like your Sam splint, but they got the aluminum plate in them. So that's all I got in side one. Side two is packed down with some different items here. So start off, we got a set of Crydex trauma shears. And I'm actually gonna move some of this stuff out of the way here. Under that we have a micro shield for CPR. back we have a hyphen vent seal so this is the two pack of chest wound exit and entry and it's held on with just a little ranger band there to keep it folded over it does not hurt it to have it uh, folded up like that two more pairs of gloves and a small roll of duct tape you can do a lot with this. You can actually make another chest seal if you need to with the duct tape. And then we have a nasal pharyngeal and lube. And then looking in the back here, we have some items. Got some hemostats in the back, set of tweezers. So nothing major there, just some instruments if you need to use them. Good for getting splinters out or if you really need to um, you really need to take care of a serious injury. You have those as an option as well. Um, there is a decompression needle that is not in here. It's actually in my medical kit that I keep in my car. This one here, obviously it's only for the range. So I, when I am expecting to use this or you take my belt to the range, not use this, I hope to never want to never need to use this. Uh, but I can throw a decompression needle in there as well. Biggest takeaway from all this, guys, um, no matter what you put inside of your trauma kit, make sure you got bleeding, an airway, and then a way to secure broken bones. Now, obviously, I don't have a SAM splint in here. Um, I have the finger splints. I have a SAM splint in my go bag that stays in my car. But also, make sure you have the training on these items as well. Um, you know, being that I work at a prison, I am certified in CPR. Uh, as for the nasal, I did take my combat medic course. The decompression needle is there as well. But the other thing is, is if you are not certified, don't use the items. Um, if somebody is around you that is certified that can use them, let them take care of it. Offer up your stuff if you need to. Obviously, if you're in a uh, more of a 
serious situation where it's not training. It is more of a combatish kind of situation. Um, you know, you're not going to use your gear. Let them use somebody else's. Keep yours for you. But that is the uh, Coyote Tactical Stomp Pouch from that I picked up from Open Medical. Uh, like I said, great option for a trauma kit for a range belt or even a duty belt if you want to run something that large. But that's all I got for you here today, guys. If you have any questions on the contents of the kit or the pouch itself, I'll have links in the description below. But drop a comment if you have any questions. I'll try to get you answers for it. Uh, definitely make sure you like the video. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you're notified anytime we drop a new video. That's all I got for you here today, guys. Later.